Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about this knife. This is the Rosecraft Blades Clinch River Swayback, which I absolutely love this knife. I was so lucky. Uh, this knife is one of their seconds, but uh, JB from uh, Big Red EDC was kind enough to send this my way and uh, let me have this knife uh, just what a fantastic uh, gift I'm just over the top with this uh, with this particular knife because it, number one it's so beautiful it's been on many of my lives because it is so beautiful I love 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 this bourbon bone the video doesn't do it justice but I think you can see the variation in the bone there but what made this a second was you see there's a crack right here uh, near this uh, pin. Also, there is a uh, gap here in the uh, backspacer, which uh, I think it's right around in here. But I didn't think it was that bad of a gap, but it didn't pass QC at Rosecraft. And then also this has a soft open, although to tell you the truth, it's gotten better in the time since I've had it. Uh, it has a lanyard tube. We'll go over that. Uh, but just what a lovely, lovely piece of cutlery this is. Now this has a brushed uh, steel bolsters, nickel silver pins. The uh, rosebud emblem is also nickel silver. And what we have is this wonderful uh, blade this is a uh, D2 steel blade. You see the Rosecraft insignia there, which is really super nice on the uh, tang stamp. Uh, here you have where it's got uh, D2 steel, Andy Armstrong design. You'll know, have to pardon the uh, the motorcycle going by the uh, going by the old studios here. But D2 Steel, Andy Armstrong design, and there is the uh, number for it, the RCT-005. Also has this really nice finger choil. Uh, you can really choke up on this blade, and so you don't have to worry about you know it closing without you knowing about it. It's pretty stiff when it's open. Uh, nice swedge on the top. We're looking at a uh, 3.1 inch blade with a four inch handle. Uh, and this, uh, if you, especially if you choke up for me, you know, you can get your hand all up and down this handle, four inches closed, 7.1 inches open, uh, just a really fine knife, uh, fits in the hand. Well, I like the sway back design. I like how it, it fills your palm when you grab it. So it's, uh, really a very very good design, nice working knife, love a good Warncliffe blade. Uh, you got to admit, they are they are pretty sharp looking. Really nice nail nick on here. Uh, and like I said, I think this has, you know, it does have a half stop. And it does have a pretty good open. You can hear the walk and talk as it goes through. It's maybe not as strong as some of the other ones, but uh, but I really like this knife. I think it's really kind of cool. Uh, very, very good. Uh, these things are going for uh, $46.99 on their website. They're currently out of stock, but they have another shipment of these coming. I think it's definitely one that you want to look for. I'll have to pardon the motorcycle again. But I just love the colors on the uh on the bone i mean it is just beautiful like a uh like a sunset or uh you know sunrise it's just really i i just love the the variation in it uh you know how it's a little lighter up here a little darker down here on this side it has a nice dark streak and it's all in how the bone takes the uh dye but just looks fabulous what a really awesome, awesome color. Uh, great knife. Definitely one that I think you should look at if you're wanting to get into the Rosecraft 
uh, slip joints. I think for me, this is probably my favorite. I haven't handled the other ones yet. Uh, and I say yet because those will be coming. Uh, I am interested in some of the other designs that they have coming out. But that just, to me, what a gorgeous knife. Uh, definitely, definitely my favorite of theirs so far. So, like I said, I'll check out the other ones and stuff, but uh, they're going to have a lot to live up to uh, going up against this one. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this. I know you're slip joint fans also. So, we'll talk about it down in the comments, and I'll see you down there, and I will definitely catch you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.